I think Lee will take it through his experience and he's, he's fought it, despite his age at the highest quality in national terms that is and I think if it goes the five Lee will take the decision but again that must stress ours are just personal opinions we're not the judges good combination there though straight away from Mark Lee absolutely if he could stamp his authority early I would I would agree with you he's, he's got some oh there on the left if that hurt him that shook him that John Wincott, it shook him maybe may, may, may eat my words <laughs> He's got some excellent sparring, Mark Lee, in his gym. He's got Liam Harrison, pound for pound, probably one of the best fighters we've got in the country at the moment. And he's also got Richard Smith, very experienced. And, of course, his wife, world champion, Lisa Horton-Smith. Absolutely. And we've got Richard Cabin as well. He's got a good corner there, but equally, John Wincott, very experienced, Jim. And for tie boxing, a very lively start. They normally try to, to work each other out. We're, we're used to one or two quite slow rounds. These two young lads have gone straight for it. Absolutely. And John Wincott's out on his feet there, you know. You know, I'm, I'm going to be made to eat my words. He's going in with his chin up in the air. Mark Lee's hitting with some big shots. Well, there's another big right. Well, just as you said that, then the left bend to the body, switching nicely up and down. As I said, I've always rated Mark Lee. Great camp, nice young fighter. And I said, I've been privileged to see a, a number of his fights. And he's very, very hard to beat. He is, yeah, he's very technical. He's, he's well-schooled. John Wincott, I've never seen him tested before. He, he's, he's undefeated and he, he's, he's been matched well and trained well, but he, he's getting tested. He's going to struggle here. He's going to struggle. They often say with an unbeaten fighter, the two test of the characters, if you do get beaten, how you come back. Some it, it destroys, others come back stronger, don't they? Absolutely. He, 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 technically here, he's, he's getting beaten. Mark Lee's got too much, too much experience and too much know-how. Good first round. As I said, they normally take time to see each other out, but I'm going to pick you up on the point now. He's very unsteady as he comes back to his corner there, John Wincott. Yeah, he, he, he's actually earlier on, he got hit with a left hook. I and mean, then he got hit with the right hand, Mark walked him straight in. As I say, he's getting older, Mark. As you say, he's got the experience, maybe we'll be showing it now. There's that right hand, big strong right hand. Then he followed up again, left of the head, then he brings it down to the body. Absolutely, yeah. Mark's, Mark's coming on lovely. He's looking for the knee there. And then he goes, yeah, he, he's got John in a lot of trouble here. He's, he's going to come out and stamp his authority again, but I don't think he'll rush it, because this corner will be telling him, take your time, Mark, take your time. John seems to have recovered there though, Phil, we're looking at his corner now on the monitor and he seems to be composed again and listening to his corner, what will they be saying to him? They're going to they're gonna tell him to get his guard tighter, they're going to get him to start oh, kicking, I presume to get kicking, get his hands up a bit higher, get some low kicks in. Yeah, he's got to slow Mark Lee's momentum down, hasn't he? He's got to go out there now and, and stop him asserting his authority like he did in the first round. Absolutely, he did, he's got to see this round now, if he can get John Wincott to see this round up, maybe they can turn it around later on. He's working in with his, with his chin in the air. The South Ball doing that against someone else, but his chin in the air like that, he's going to get punished. Yes, yeah, so as we said, there are only seven fights, 20 years of age. There's lots of time to mature and grow. And it's also very difficult when you've got a big hometown following, sometimes that can make your heart rule your head, can't it? Absolutely, yeah. And as you see, tonight he's getting tested. Tonight he's getting tested. He's, he's undefeated, and he's getting tested against a very good gym. Well, at only 18 years of age, I'll stick my neck out and say Mark Lee will test anyone at the way in this country. Absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe we've got a K1 Max champion there. And I just mentioned, as you said, his stable mate, Liam Harrison. He's been to Thailand, he's been to Japan, and he's been knocking out the local guys there. He's getting a real reputation. And like Mark, he's, at seven, he's 18, Liam's only 17. They've got a great stable coming through, haven't they? Absolutely, and I know for a fact that Mark's been following him. 
Mark's actually been to Japan with him, been to Thailand with him, been in his corner, so he's getting all this experience, he's getting the sparring, he's getting the know-how, and you know, he's taking it they are, he's hurt John again now. Yes, this is a real learning curve for John Wincott, and as I said, the real test is if he does lose tonight, I'm not going to presume anything at the moment, but the real test is how you come back from it, so absolutely. I've, I've always seen in the past John Wincott's southpaw style work really well for him. He's got a good jab, a good left leg. You know, he's got away with things. But tonight, he just can't get away with all that kind of stuff tonight from, in front of Mark Lee. And there's an arrogance about Mark now. He drops his hands and he moves away. Look, he's, he's taunting him now. He's calling him on. But yeah, and Mark, Mark, Mark Mature, and even though he's 18, he's been training since he was a little boy. Those muscles are developing. He's learning all those techniques and he's starting to hit harder. Well, John Wincott survived in the second round. It wasn't quite as one-sided as the first. But the other thing we haven't touched on is people forget. A home crowd favourite with a big support can actually fire up the away fighter. Whenever I took fighters in away camp, all I would say was, shut the crowd up. And it fires up an away fighter. So sometimes it doesn't necessarily work to advantage to be a big hometown favourite with a big following. It can put immense pressure on you. Absolutely, yeah. Tonight it's not a, it's not a title fight. This is to give these young guys the experience. But Mark is, is sort of like just out of range there. That shows his confidence, doesn't it? He drops his hand, he comes out of range, and taunts him. Then he closes the gap so quickly. Absolutely, you can see Mark. Mark's looking, Mark's looking to, to inflict damage. He's, he's making mistakes, but you know he's still looking good in the process. Richard just telling him to settle down, stick to, the, stick to the job in hand, keep doing what he's doing, don't get excited on the, on the fight says. Because I think it's fair to say at the moment, one of the things that um, I agree with Paul Hennessy, one of our co-promoters tonight, is that we've got very few people at the level of the top ties at the moment. We've got to look to the next, ge next generation like Mark Lee and like Liam Harrison to be the guys that maybe could mix it with the ties. Absolutely, there is some good guys in this country, but they, they, they fight on their own shows, they don't leave the home area, you know. They, 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 Richard Smith and Paul Hennessy and people like that. You know, they, they put the guys out on big shows like this. They get them the experience, you know. They're not afraid and they're coming on. That's the only way we're going to get our guys to compete with the Thais. Like Liam Harrison, 17 years old, going to Thailand, Japan, and knocking, knocking their champions out at the age of 17. We've got to be proud of it. So if we're looking at this, there's two rounds gone, both to Mark Lee. Looking on the positive, what can John Wincott take from this? Because it's possibly his unbeaten record going. What can he take from the fight now? Experience and learning, as you, as you said earlier on. It's, you know, the, the fighters, when they lose for the first time, it's how they come back. You know, and, and I'm sure John will come back. You know. To me, he's met someone very similar in style to himself, but just that bit more advanced at this moment in time. Is that a fair comment? Absolutely, yeah. And not only that, Mark Lee, even though he's taller, he's got his chin down, John Shorter with his chin up, and you know, that, that's what's giving Mark the advantage, you can see he's looking, I mean, you've got a taller guy there throwing shots from over the top, you know, that's telling you something, isn't it? Come on, John, work your hands, work your hands there. Very little for our referee, Howard Hughes, to have to do here, and one thing I will say, it's been a nicely paced tie boxing, but hasn't it been very fast, right the way from the start? It has, yes, it's uh, a good tie boxing bag. You know, it, it, it's, it's doing these guys a lot of favours. Well, that's the end of the crowd are getting behind it as well. That's the end of round three. Well, and really, you've got to give all of them to, to Mark Lee, haven't you? You have, however, John is coming back. You know, I, I, I would say he's probably going to go the distance now. And, Unless Mark hits him with a clean chop, John's warming into it. He seems to have weathered the storm, hasn't he? And he, again, when you look at him, he's still very focused and very calm in the corner there. He's looking better there than he did at the end of round one. You know, and he, he knows he's going to have to start fighting there. So as Phil Williams said, we've had three rounds down. We think they've all gone to Mark Lee, but we feel that John has weathered the worst of it. Phil predicted at the beginning that this could go the distance, and it's looking more that way now, despite Mark taking the points comfortably. John looks comfortable, and, and this is the danger for him, though, isn't it? As you said, the way that Mark dominates the centre of that ring. Absolutely, yeah, and you can see Mark, he's choosing, he's choosing. When shall I go to the head, when shall I go to the body? Because he knows that John's chin's going to be up in the air. But this is what, 
these undefeated fighters are going to have to learn from. You know, oh, why did they get beat? I'm sure John will. Yes, yeah, for four on the schedule five. And as we said, John Wincott seemed to have weathered the storm and looked stronger there at the end of the third than the end of the first. Because at the end of the first, there was a very good chance of a second round stoppage. But it did well to come through that. Absolutely, yeah. I'll, I'll be surprised if he gets stopped now. I do think he'll drop it on points. But it's, 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 just the, it's just the age, you know, Mark at the age of 18, you know, he's not going to have that explosive power that he will do in 18 months to two years. What sort of weight do you see these guys going up to the city? 18 and 20, they're at 70k at the moment. You look at Mark, he's very tall and lean. Yeah, but I, but if you stand next to Mark and talk to me, you realise how tall he is. From what I can remember, Mark's about 6 foot 1, possibly 6 foot 2. He, he's going to be a light heavyweight very soon. He's, he's going to be going into the 72. 75 kilo region. Yeah, a bit of showboating there from Mark. I like the lad, but he knows I don't really like that. I like to see them business as usual, I've got to be honest. Yeah, he's enjoying himself a bit too much in there. He's doing himself a lot more favors instead of doing a lot. Looking for shots like that. Exactly. We're getting the job done. I think it's a bit of what we said before, knowing you're coming in against a hometown lad that sold a lot of tickets and their adrenaline's up. And he is young, he's 18, so absolutely. He's not going to do himself any favour when it comes to the home fans though by teasing their guy when their guy showing them all the respect. Yeah, Mark, I must say, is a very, very nice lad. I think it's just the moment in the crowd and the, the fact that it's the K-1. Absolutely. And, and he's beating the home guy. <laughs> yes, it's a great advert for him when you look at getting on K-1 promotions, the way the K-1 is growing as well in stature. Phil. He's doing himself no harm with a performance like this. Absolutely, yeah. You know, it's going to be seen as big breaking off the international scene. And he takes it very seriously. All these little moves, the way he's tying him up there. That's good schooling. Oh, there's a beautiful left right. Took him straight down. Right at the end of the round. That was a count. The referee never finished the count there, but that was a definite count. A 10-8 round there for, for Mark Lee. Again, though, John still looks corpus mentis in the corner there. Absolutely, those shots, they, they took him off balance more than they hurt him. You know, the chip is in the air, hit him on the chin, over he goes. See, he's on the back foot there, and there goes the punch, he's on the back foot, the balance is gone, and over he goes. It was still a good punch, though. Yeah, see the menace on Mark's face, though. Yeah, Mark the menace, Lee, but, um... John took it well. It was a good shot. It was a clean shot. As he said, it was good, but it actually works in his favour that he was already coming off balance. If he'd have took that upright and possibly going forward, he might not be there then. No, he'd, he'd be in trouble, especially with some of the earlier punishment. He took him round one and two. He may have seen him in a bit more trouble than what he was. It looks like you're going to be right. We're going into round five. He's been hurt, but not to the stage where you feel now that the stoppage can come. I think you're going to be right. This is going to go the whole way. Yeah, I think they go in the whole way, not, not because of the ability of fighters, just because of the age, and I've seen them, the, the bomb and the explosive power isn't there yet. But it's been very exciting. Well, knowing Mark Lee and knowing the way he thinks, I'll tell you this, Phil, he'll be looking for a stoppage in this round, but a good shot there from John Wincott, but Mark Lee will be looking for this stoppage, I'll tell you that now. And he's got another count. Yeah, that was a clean shot. That was a clean shot. He, he, he might stop him. Oh, he's gone. He's shaking his head. His eyes are glazed over. How to be looking at him very carefully. Mark will want this. He will want the stoppage. I'll be looking for the straight right down the middle now, if I was Mark. Yes, he fainted the left. He wanted the right. It didn't quite land for him. No. Good stunt kick. Mark, he's got to take his time. There's that right, though. Landed twice again. So this is um, very rocky territory now for John Wincott. Yeah, I think Mark should go to him up with a the kick, then look for the punch afterwards. Mark taunted him, and he doesn't need to. He's got him hurt. Yes, his man dropping now, and another big right. As you said, I'd just like him to pick a few more, although Johnny's in big trouble. Just pick his shots more, lead with the legs, with the knees, to bring those hands down. Yeah. Mark winding up the shots. He doesn't need to wind the shots up. He can just relax. He's got a very oh. potent front kick. Oh, that hurt. That's it. Howard's taken him to a corner. Another count. It'd be a shame to see John get stopped, but he's not going to win this fight. I'd just like to see Mark open him up with the kicks more. He's got a superb front kick, he's got a superb low kick, land them to bring the hands down and then bring his own work over the top. Sure. I, I, can, I can tell by the way Mark, he's looking for the head kick. There we are, he's looking for the head kick. He just needs to go in, relax, and just throw his combinations. He could finish John here. John's doing very well to stay on his feet. Yes, you're almost wishing him now to finish at the end here, hometown lad. 
We want him to see it till the end. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You see, the home crowd are not liking the fact that he's throwing shots from his off balance. Yes, yeah, just uh, if I was Mark, I'd like to, I'd like him to work the leg slow, get the man thinking about downstairs, then suddenly bring the hand back up. But fair play to John Wynn, got his last of the distance, real good performance. Mark Lee getting a lot of booze, which is expected from the hometown crowd, isn't it? But I'm pleased that John got the distance, but an emphatic victory from the man from Bad Company. Yes, very well done, well scored. And he did really well. He beat the undefeated guy there, who I'm sure will come back. He showed a lot of heart. But a good one for the crowd, even if it wasn't going in the crowd's favour. Yes, you said he's taunting here. He's very arrogant. There was the, the left hand, and it really rocked him. Phil. Yeah, it hit him high on the top of the head, on the temple. His eyes glazed over. He didn't know where he was. And the referee was was right to give him a standing count. Yes, Mark going now to pay his respects in the corner now. It's all over, the fight's over. That's that's the way it goes here. And you can't really blame him for being a bit psyched up. You've got a hometown lad, a hometown favourite. Your adrenaline goes just that bit more, doesn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. And here he's, he's hitting him hard and hopefully he's got him all over the place and Howard has to step in again. And it's always a sign when the fighter turns his back without realising it. Absolutely, and I know John Wick fight, he wouldn't turn his back on anyone. Yes, very good win there for Mark Lee. 